I think it's about time we start our road to dark matter. Now, I've been playing so much zombies, I haven't played a single match of multiplayer. I have zero stats recorded, so we're going to start this out with a bang. Or should I say starting off with a boom, because we're starting out here with the HE1 launcher. Normally, I like to get the launchers out of the way early when it comes to a mastery camo grind, because they are the most annoying to get done. And the camo challenges are a little bit different for this one than they've been in the past, because we need to get either 50 score streak eliminations or player eliminations. So whatever one comes first, that's what we're going for. And hopefully this isn't like Cold War where everybody's running flak jacket and not going to be like pre-nerf flak jacket in Cold War where it takes like four to five rockets to even kill somebody. It's just going to be hit marker city. We're going to see if we're going to even need to play core or if we have to switch to hardcore, but we got our first kill there. And from what it looked like in the camo challenges, it, I could have been misreading something I'm very known to not be able to read. But in those camo challenges, even for the special kills or like the special camos, we can still get kills. It looks like we just need to get like direct hit kills and then like three kills or score streaks in the same game 10 times. And then there's one that I'm I'm forgetting. But we'll get to that one when we get to that one. Actually, is there a UAV up right now? There is. Can I even hit this? Oh, that was close. That was really close. Hold on. This one's hitting for sure. Okay. All right. This is going to be just like Cold War where I can't hit these. All right. Whatever, UAV. I'll get you one of these days. Let's line it up with the end of this. That one's hitting. Whatever. This is more useful to us as a melee weapon anyways. And honestly, this is probably a, a great way to start out our camo grind because it's going to put our SBMM into the floor. I'm going a nice two and six. We're going to have a very deep KD hole to dig ourselves out of. And I just went on about how I don't need to be shooting at these UAVs, but I'm determined. Something needs to happen. I need to hit one of these one time at least. Oh, we did it. Let's go. And that's our first camo, baby. Oh, that could be a double right there. It wasn't, but we got a camo. Oh, and another one. A long shot, too. What's the damage, though? What's our final stats for that? Our first ever game of multiplayer in this. 9 and 20 with two confirms and three denies. Don't forget that. This has got to be the absolute worst way to start out a multiplayer. This is like a terrible first experience. I did get to play it a little bit in the beta and you know, see how it felt using actual weapons there. But this ain't the greatest. We still got a kill though. Eat my launcher. Come here. Nope. Don't want to pull the knife out. There we go. Ooh, I already know that's going to make me mad when it pulls out the knife for nothing. Oh, they got a sentry down. Does this count? It should. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't complain at all about the launchers because at least I don't have to wait there for somebody to get a sentry gun again like in Cold War and take out, what was it, 50 ground streaks? What a ridiculous challenge, especially in a game that only had like RCXDs and sentry turrets as their ground streaks. What well, they got back here? Anti-air? Will this count for anything? We're gonna find out. It does count, let's go. Spawn more of those in. Please, put one down. My launcher would like to say hello to it. I'm in enemy territory. Oh, we're kind of cleaning these. Making quick work of it. Let's go. We're halfway there. Oh, I know this map. I think this was my favorite map from the beta. We got some home field advantage here. I know what I'm doing. Ooh. When you've seen a dive and rocket launcher kill. Probably a decent amount. And there's another camo. Oh, and back shots. Come here. Yeah. How you liking that? Oof. There's another camo. Nice little tied camo. We're 10 kills away from working on our specials. This is not bad at all. Three games get the launchers done? They cooked with this game, honestly. No complaints from me. Especially since I'm so nice with it. Come on. Please let that be it. Red Tiger. Beautiful. Now we just need to get direct impact kills, which I'm pretty sure that had to be one right there. I hit him square in the chest. So I was right. Get 10. I can't even barely read that. That's not bad. And then we need to get destroy 10 score streaks or enemy equipment. And then they really got to move this. They or let us rotate the gun out of the way. Destroy three score streaks or vehicle in a single match 10 times. 
All right, we just got to keep our eye out for any enemy equipment or score streaks. Good thing we got Engineer on. It should help out a bit. Oh, and we got people AFK. No, why would you move right when I go for the direct impact? Come on. No way. It got blocked by the fence. I lined it up. It was there. Did you get any progress that game? Six out of 10 and two out of 10. Okay. All right. We're making it there. We're doing it. Now, while we're grinding these camos out, uh, I think it's time to bring back a classic. If you are new here to our multiplayer videos, we have a segment I like to call Gamer Guy Does Sports Talk, where I just ramble on about football for the most part, and mainly the Lions, because that is my team, the Detroit Lions. I say that like I own it. I, that's just, that's the team I emotionally gamble on and have been for my whole life. And it's only now starting to pay off. For those of you that don't know, that aren't, uh, you know, informed on football or don't really follow it, but the Lions have been historically bad, like always bad, never doing the greatest. But in the recent last like two and a half years, they finally started putting it together. And now currently we are six and one, right? Yeah, six and one. We only lost one game to the Buccaneers, which is still a really good team. And it was a close game when we lost. But right now we're rolling and we have been maybe one of, if not the most fun team to watch in all of football. Because we have like a very dynamic offense. We're always doing some crazy stuff. We're doing like backyard football type plays and it's working. We're having running backs throw touchdowns. We're trying to throw touchdowns to three offensive linemen. And we're just putting up like crazy numbers, crazy statistics. And it's just been a lot of fun to watch. It's really been great to go from like not even three years ago where we were like zero, 10 and one looking at like another fully defeated season. And then all of a sudden turning around and rallying at the end of the year. Like it's just been really great to see because my entire life we have just been bad and it's finally started to pay off that I'm rooting for the Lions. But it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, for those of you that have been following football, you might have seen our uh, pass rusher, Aiden Hutchinson. He's like one of the best players in the league. He was like uh, on pace for defensive player of the year. And he absolutely shattered his tibia and his fibula or whatever fibula. One of them. I'm no doctor, but his shit was barely hanging on and we got a reboot camo. I love how when I'm not paying attention to the camos and I'm just yapping, I feel like I do way better at it. But anyways, basically our star player, one of the best defensive players in the NFL, got like hit with a pretty bad injury and he's gonna be out for the season. I don't think there's any chance of him returning. Even if we do make the Super Bowl, you know, they're saying like there's a chance he could be good to come back. But one, the Super Bowl's not guaranteed. And two, I, it would be cool and all, and I would really love it for him to be able to like, come play in the game after the, the spectacular start to the season that he's had and what he's put in. But I just really want him to uh, be healthy because that is a pretty devastating injury to get, not only for the team, but for him. Like, it's insane to have your leg break like that and have, like, your whole bottom part of it just kind of dangling. And we're even losing players to not injuries. We have our, our wide receiver, Jamison Williams. Uh, he got suspended recently for, uh, like, substance abuse policy or, like, PED, something like that. I'm almost positive it wasn't a PED. Because if it was something like a steroid, he would have been suspended for at least a minimum of four games. And he got suspended for two. So uh, my theory is that it, it was probably, like, either he didn't get, like, a medical exemption for some prescription he got. Or some people are saying he took a honey pack. And that actually popped up on the test, which would be kind of hilarious. But it's just disappointing that he missed this game against the Titans, which, you know, isn't too bad. Uh, we handled the Titans for for what it was worth, at least uh, after the first quarter. We kind of let uh, Mason Rudolph do his thing for a little bit there. Oh, nice little double impact. But he will be missing our game against the Packers, our division rival, like the team I hate the most in life, maybe except for the Cowboys. I don't know, they're, they're pretty close together, but he's gonna be missing our, our first divisional game against them. And it's gonna be pretty big because our division is might even be the best division in football. They've been uh, ravaged by injuries, like some of the other teams in our division, but they've still been playing pretty well. Like right now, um, the Packers quarterback just got injured. We don't know how long he'll be out for, but even when he got injured earlier in the season, they had uh, Malik Willis, uh, a backup come in and still you know, win them games. So it's not like it's gonna be like an easy game or nothing. It's never an easy game against a divisional rival. But I'll conclude the sports talk there. 
We'll, we'll keep it a, a little bit brief for our, our first episode. Oh yeah, I got the direct hit kills done fast in that game. And that ain't a bad looking camo. Almost Damascus-like. Oh, four more score streaks or equipment. And then we have to do our three in a game. Launchers are not bad so far. Oh, this actually looks really nice in game. Okay. These specialty camos are sick. Oh, there's a UAV. Oh, and a ammo box over here. I'm just going to completely ignore the player. Don't care. Give me that. We just need one more. If I can take on the UAV, then we're done with that camo. Just two rockets on this and the camo's done. That's one. Reload. That's two. What? Bullshit. I call bullshit, but you're dead now. Did that not hit? Hello? Are you invincible, helicopter? Where is this going? No way the camel car is hitting this hard. Please. When did they buff these? Between the last game? Because these have been taking two launches to get. Now it's taking four, five? Hello? I was joking about the SPMM damage thing, but it's ridiculous if it's doing this shit for launchers. There we go, finally. Camo, please. Let's go. Now we just need to do that three times in a single game. And it sucks that it wasn't counting the ones that we already got because we'd already be getting progress. But at least we got some back shots. What's up, buddy? Yeah, but you're regretting pushing back here. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, wait a second. This is maybe the one time I'm happy to be put into a game in progress. I got an ammo pack right here. And of course, I don't have any rockets. We're going to just push to it and try to break it. Come on. One more. That's what I'm talking about. A few more of those and we're good. Ooh, we don't even need ammo. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I feel like we had to have gotten at least three score streaks that game. No way. Is this not tracking? Why is it showing an AR? Let me try reading this again, even though it's barely even legible. Get, destroy three score streaks or vehicle in a single match ten times with the HE1. I definitely got three that game. What do you want me to do? Did a pool hose really just block that? Are you kidding me? There we go. Damn. Finally, an actual kill streak. I don't get how these are so inconsistent to take down, though. Maybe I need to shoot it with my gun like this guy's doing. Oh, and there's an RCXT coming in. Actually, we got that. Where's the RCXT? Why don't you drive it on over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh. If we got out of this game and I still don't have any progress, it's got to be bugged. I feel like it was bugged in players' favors before because I heard people talking about how launcher challenges are super easy and it was tracking progress through multiple games instead of just in one. And maybe they just broke it trying to make it so people can't do that anymore, which would be bad. But we have a sentry. This is definitely going to be three. 100% confirm this is three. Ain't no way I don't have progress now. Oh, okay. There we go. That works. Two out of 10. What the fuck? I just got in this game and I'm already getting spawn killed. Like I said before, you know what? Maybe this is a good thing. Oh no, is this the map I've been hearing about? It looks pretty. It's got that going for it. But I better see some score streaks. Yeah, this map is big as shit. Does not need to be this big. Come on. Kill me. Come on. You can do it. You got it. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Go for it. Kill me. Please. I don't need kills. I need ammo. Yes, kill me. You serious? You see this guy? Small peen. Oh, he's getting ridiculed. Those are the kind of lobbies we're in. They don't know that they have equipment to put down. I actually start using my gun to pass the time. So there's no equipment at all. Oh, more back shots. There you go, buddy. Come here. Into the fern. You just eat it. Dude, these lobbies are terrible. These are the definition of bot lobbies. I'm the one getting the streaks over here. This is ridiculous. Y'all got to pick it up. You know what? I might as well try to drop a nuke. This is my probably only opportunity at it. I've never dropped a, loop, a nuke in my life and it's not going to happen this game. Never mind. I take it back. I got on a three kill streak and I think I'm something. There's been one trophy system this entire game. How do people get this done? This is annoying as hell. I should not have said that the launcher challenges are easy because now we're just stuck on this. RCXT. No. It was right at me. Please reload. Oh, we got it. Whew, that was so close. That is as close as you can get. Oh, now they got a helo. Thank God, dude. They're finally starting to call shit in. Let's go. Come on, don't be shy now. Calling some more stuff for me. Oh, there we go. Let me get that. Thank you. And that's game. So we were at two before this game. We better be at three. We went 51 and 16. Jeez. We're at four. Let's go. Six more though. Ridiculous. 
<laughs> Hopefully that last performance puts us in a little higher of a skill level lobby. And it's with some people that can actually get some streaks, even if I have to feed it to them. I'm actually going to not even attempt to kill anybody. I'm running right at them. This is the most boring challenge ever. Oh, they finally put some shit down. Would you look at that? All right, there's another one. I might actually be able to get three if I can get back there. Oh, or I can just spawn me on it. That works too. Only took till three minutes left in the game. Oh, we might have actually got progress. That's game. Please, please, please say we got one. I don't understand what counts and what doesn't. That's bullshit. There's a UAV. Can I please hit it? Let's line it up. Let's go! Okay, so using the black lines help out so much. Call another one in. I'm ready for him now. Oh, I see you. I see you using that. That has to count. There's UAV. Come on. I'm too nasty. I'm just too gross. Don't start messing it up now. There we go. That's three UAVs. Six out of ten. Oh, that was sick. That was cool. The 360 impact nated. Let's see if I can take out the counter UAV. Where is it? Okay, let's do what we learned. Line it up. No way. I was initially saying no way because I didn't think I was going to hit it. But we got it. We got the secret sauce. What's up, dude? Oh. I believe that worked. I was just looking right at him. No way. Come on. Come back here. Come back here. Mm. Got it that time. Let's fucking go. Oh, we finally got play of the game. Oh, the 360 impact nade? That's crazy. Three more. I am so nasty with those impact grenades. Give me my tomahawk back. I'm ready for it. Oh, here we go. See, why does sometimes it takes two rockets and other times it just takes like six? Doesn't make any sense. That's gotta be it, please. What? How am I missing these now? Have they changed the trajectory? Finally. Okay, focus up, focus up, lock in. Right here. Let's go. And they got an assault pack that needs to be gone. Same with Archangel. Got the Archangel rocket. That works. That's got to count. Now let me get the assault pack, please. There we go. Finally, we're getting a game with a good amount of score streaks. Just got to make sure we take them out. Yes, sir. I feel like we could have gold this game. There's definitely the potential. I had to just actually start using my gun to get in lobbies where people actually got streaks. What? Did it just pause midair? Bullshit. I call bullshit. Oh, one more game and we're done. Holy shit. This is taking forever. Let's end it right here on this game. I'm not doing no more. Ooh, a headshot from this far away? Damn. Honestly, if the camo challenge was getting headshots with it, we'd be further along than we would be with streaks. Give me that. Oh, there's another one. Give me that one too. Excuse me, sirs. Please do not kill me. Appreciate it. So apparently the assault packs don't even count because I know for sure I've destroyed three this game and we're only one, three score streaks or equipment away. So that's cool. I've been destroying those for nothing. Love to see it. Come here, RCXD. No, what? Where'd that go? Oh, wait, hold on. Does it not see me? Oh, it does. God damn it. Where did that first rocket even go? That's bullshit. I should have had it right there. I'm pissed. I don't even know what those mines are counting either. Bring that RCXD over here. Please. Get back here, you stupid fucking car. No! Every time I could have got a shot on it, it turned a corner. Finally. Oh, two of them. Collat? Oh, wouldn't that have been crazy? Holy shit, we almost had it too. And that's gold! We could have got a collat for gold. Oh my god. I'm kind of mad they didn't do it. And why is my gold camo so stretched there? But either way, we're done. And that's an extra counter UAV. And just in case it works like Cold War, I don't think it would. But I'm just going to play this whole game. I'll play the whole game out just to make sure we get the progress. Because I'm not doing that again. Ain't no way. The game is over. The pain is over. We're finally done. What a beautiful sight. Our first gold in the game. And it's on a launcher. Let's go take a, a little peek at it. Now let's take a nice little peek at our first multiplayer gold. And it's absolutely beautiful. I am so glad we got one of these done, but we have a whole nother one to go. It is ridiculous how easy those camo challenges were at the beginning and then how long it took us just to do the gold one. Holy shit. But 
That's one out of two. I can't even imagine how long it's going to take me to do the diamond. But let's not think about that right now. Let's uh, just live in the moment. But that's going to do it for me. Make sure you leave a comment down below of what weapon you want to see us do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we do in the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.